Hello, today I'm reviewing a book called Global Warming Explained by the author Theodore Lahr. The reason I'm doing this review is because this book is quite fantastic in what information that it disseminates, and it's also controversial, but in a manner that isn't like a lot of other books with subjective material filled with haphazard information that really is pseudoscientific at best. The information provided in this book is very, very objective. It's filled with very interesting information that can sway you towards the side of what he believes. And what that side uh, he exposits is, is that it's not due to anthropogenic issues uh, that global warming has occurred, what it's actually due to is, is the tectonic plates, plate movements, and the issues involved with the earth itself. Now how he comes about to know this, once you read it you'll see he does through research and he describes it very well. So then it's much easier for us to not only digest what, what information he provides, but to also be swayed towards his side. Because he calls what people believe to be global warming due to man, uh, Gore Syndrome. And Gore Syndrome is based on a media effect where uh, the Vice President Gore, if, if you remember, uh, really pushed this out with his documentary about us causing these issues. And he says it's bogus and it has no real base in science, but yet the media and the way that they pushed it and the way that Gore pushed it makes us believe that it's true. So he provides actual evidence as to what's happening uh, with our planet. He provides critical arguments for his side that that are easily understood because he has a great way of uh, helping us understand how he came to those points. But he also does provide extremely scholastic material. So for, the, for those of us that are a bit less astute, it, it can be a little bit hard to consume, but if you just go over it a little bit, it's quite easy to get a grasp of what he's trying to prove because he's, he's pretty much telling you that, hey, I know what I'm talking about, my information is relevant, and I can prove to you that my view is the better view. His information on HAARP as a solution is a very unique piece of information that uh, alone in itself is something that's worth purchasing. Uh, and um, he also has a detailed discussion on the plate movements and the movements of gases in the atmosphere. And the way that he discusses those again can be consumed easily. So by the time the end of the book arrives, with these vivid illustrations assisting the writing, we come to a conclusion that uh, I believe that he wants us to come to, which is, hey, we've been given not just some media devised piece of subjective information that has no value, but we've actually been given objective, very strong information that says, hey, you are wrong really about what you think global warming is and I'm here to teach you what it really is and boy does he because once he's done with us it's easy to to understand what he does and to be able to know that hey this is the real cause and not only do we know the cause through what he provides us but he also provides us very relevant information as to the probable answer for what's going to happen because this is one of the great dilemmas in time in, in our species in the time of our species so for him to be able to have valid and refreshing uh, evidence or theories regarding what can be done is a really intriguing read as well so in the end global warming explained is one of the best if not the best uh, piece of information I have found regarding the subject of global warming and despite the controversy involved it's really not much of a controversy when you're done reading it because you find that he's the one that pretty much knows the truth and he actually knows what he can do about it or what we should be able to do about it so uh, I applaud him for the endeavor I definitely suggest reading the book it's a wonderful book and it'll it'll quite possibly change your mind on what global warming is